Will Ash lose to Drake and lose the Orange Islands Championship or will he win it? Well, to find out the answer to those very questions, you'll have to watch this video. The season finale of the Orange Island season of our ongoing series, What If Ash Fully Evolved All His Pokemon? So, let's start with the video to find out the answer to who loses and who wins. Ash and Gang stop at another island for Ash to continue training with his Pokemon for the Orange Island Championship match. But like the cannon, Ash ends up knocking himself and Tracy out due to a wild plumes attack stuns Spook, leaving Misty to search for the Salvio weed, which is the cure and can be found only at the bottom of a lake alongside some polyvac. This search leads Misty into a clash with Team Rocket searching for the same weed but trying to capture an injured polyvac in the process. This sets off a three-way battle between James's Victory Bell, Beijing and Meowth from Team Rocket's end against Misty's Staryu, Goldeen and Psyduck, which Misty dominates and wins easily, sending them flying away and protecting the Poliwag. Poliwag seeing this, like the cannon, warms up to Misty and helps her find more than enough Salvio weed for Ash and Tracy. Now, like the cannon, Misty notices that Poliwag is following her around and wants to be a Pokemon. So this is when James and Meowth attack Misty again, but this time lose to Misty and Poliwag's team. Though, Misty ends up learning about Jessie's condition and their need for the Salvio weed too, and sneakily leaves some for them as she goes on to help Ash and Tracy and also catches Poliwag in the process. Everyone thanks Misty for her efforts, especially Ash, as they all then leave for the final island in the Orange Islands journey. Our heroes arrive at Pamelo Island for Ash's battle against the Supreme Gym Leader. But before Ash can register himself for the battle, they run into a mysterious Pokemon, later described by Tracy as the pseudo-legendary Pokemon Dragonite. Ash gets excited hearing this and decides to capture it. They follow the Pokemon to the forest and Ash engages the Pokemon in battle, only to learn that it has a trainer. As Ash is still excited to battle such an amazing Pokemon, he challenges the trainer, who introduces himself as Drake. But to everyone's surprise, Drake recognizes Ash as the winner of the Indigo League and accepts his battle request. They decide for it to be a one-on-one -on -one battle as Ash sends in Charizard as the battle starts and Drake sends in Dragonite. The two Pokemon initially clash with Dragon Claw, but Dragon Knight totally overpowers Charizard, sending it crashing into the tree behind Ash. Ash asks Charizard to not give up and calls for a flamethrower as Drake calls for a fire blast which again overpowers Charizard, damaging it. Ash is struggling and calls for a seismic toss as Drake lets Dragonite be grabbed but then calls for an ice beam which freezes both Charizard and Dragonite crashing them both into the ground. Ash is frustrated and calls for the damage Charizard to use A Slash as Drake once again overpowers Charizard by asking Dragonite to use Hurricane that's strong enough to not only counter Charizard's A Slash but knock it out completely. Ash is amazed by Dragonite's strength and praises Drake. Drake thanks Ash for the amazing battle too, stating that his Charizard and him have an insane potential. After the battle, Drake asks them why they are here and Ash reveals that he is here to challenge the Supreme Gym Leader and complete his Orange Island Gym Challenge. As Drake smiles here this and helps Ash register for the gym challenge as our heroes notice that everyone knows Drake on their way to the registration place. After having his badges verified, Ash is informed that his battle will be held in the morning day after tomorrow and that it will be a full 6 on 6 battle. Ash gets ready to start training but Misty tells him that he needs to know where the stadium is first. Drake agrees and points them to the entrance of the stadium as the heroes explore the large Pomelo Stadium and then the nearby Palace of Victory where all the victorious trainers are immortalized. Misty notices that no new victories have been registered in quite some time as our heroes turn back to seek an answer from Drake who to their surprise has vanished. As this is when Drake pops in from the other end of the stadium and explains to the group that no one has beaten the Supreme Gym Leader in a long time and the reason why no one has been able to beat him is because his Dragonite was way too strong for them. This is when everyone realizes that Drake is the Supreme Gym Leader and it shocks all of them. Drake introduces himself properly and tells Ash that he is looking forward to their official battle. Ash though is worried on the inside tells Drake that he will definitely defeat him and Dragonite. Drake has his assistant guide our heroes to the Pokemon Center as Tracy asks Ash if he has a plan and Misty insists that Ash must have one since he was just handed a defeat by Drake to Charizard, his strongest Pokemon. Ash though is just silent as after their lunch, he tells his friends that he will be going to bed for a nap and while in bed, Ash recalls the things that he had learned during his journey in the Orange Islands and realizes the key to defeating Drake is not overpowering Dragonite with one of his Pokemon but defeating him with a combination attack from all six of his Pokemon as Ash decides to pick his strongest team but he does not want to let go of his current team too so he decides to mix it up. Ash while in bed decides to train the following evening with a team of Pikachu, Raidon, Charizard, Nidoqueen and decides to recall Blastoise, Venusaur for the clash, sending Tediosa and Primeape to Oaks. Following evening, he decides to train his Pokemon and learn a few new attacks if he can. First thing he does is he asks Tracy to let Charizard train with his Pidgeot in aerial battles the whole evening and to everyone's surprise, Pidgeot knows Hurricane. But Ash, instead of having Charizard learn the attack, asks Charizard to cut through the attack with Air Slash continuously. Then he asks Misty to let Blastoise train with Tentacruel in the water continuously. He then asks 
Pikachu to train with Raidon and Venusaur to train with Nidoqueen till the end of the day. Ash later in the evening notices that all his Pokemon are getting more stronger and more agile. Pikachu today learned Thunder mid battle against Raidon as Venusaur was able to learn Double Edge and practice it on Nidoqueen but still needs to master it. Charizard's training with Pidgeot though not only enhances Air Slash but also helped him tap into a new fire attack called Inferno. Whereas Misty tells Ash that Blastoise and Tentacruel pushed each other to the limits and both of them ended up learning Hydra Pump. For the next day, Ash asks Professor Oak to swap Venusaur for the day with Aerodactyle as he decides to ask Aerodactyle to teach Rhydon Stone Edge. And he asks Venusaur to train Double Edge at Oaks with Mark and Scythe. Ash also works with Rhydon and Charizard teach Charizard Dragon Rush. While he lets Misty work with Blastoise and lets Tracy battle Pikachu and Nidoqueen with Pidgeot and Scyther. The day ends with Ash recalling Venusaur and thanking Aerodactyle as the training has paid off and our Pokemon have learned their new attacks and gotten stronger definitely. Pikachu has now picked up Thunder to replace Thunderbolt, Charizard has picked up Inferno for Flamethrower and Dragon Rush for Dragon Claw, Rhydon has picked up Stone Edge for Bulldoze, Venusaur has picked up Double Edge in the place of Takedown, Nidoqueen has picked up a Shadow Claw from Tracy's Scyther and Blastoise has picked up and mastered Hydro Pump. Ash is very happy with the developments he has seen today. As Ash has dinner with all his Pokemon and his friends and thanks them all for working so hard, the next morning he wakes up everyone early and during breakfast all of them promise to do their best. Now, on their way to the gym, Tracy reminds Ash to use type advantages and Misty recommends when he can't beat someone with power, he should beat someone with strategy and asks Ash to use Pokemon switching to his advantage. Ash listens to the two of them carefully as we head into the stadium and meet Drake and the crowd. After the customary handshake between Ash and Drake, the referee explains that the state of the field will change after one of them has three unconscious Pokemon. At that moment, the flat field disappears and is replaced by a rocky field with a pool in the middle. Drake like the cannon sends in Ditto as Ash sends in Pikachu and Drake calls for a transform as Ditto transforms into Pikachu. Now, the battle like the cannon follows the trend where Ditto copies every attack of Pikachu's. In the end, Ash asks for Pikachu to send rocks flying at Ditto with Iron Tail as this is when, during the fury of rocks coming at Ditto, Drake asks it to counter each rock with a thunder which ends up exhausting Ditto as this is when Ash asks Pikachu to use Dick to get behind the busy Ditto and finish it off with an Iron Tail, winning Ash the battle but leaving Pikachu visibly tired. Drake congratulates Ash on his first victory before sending out his next Pokemon, an Onyx. Ash recalls Pikachu and sends out Blastoise, realizing the type advantage. Ash calls for an Hydro Pump and Drake has Onyx burrow to the ground to avoid the attack and is successful. Initially unsure what to do next, Ash eventually tells Blastoise to use consecutive flash cannons on the ground to force out Onyx and it works. Drake then calls for an Iron Tail as Ash asks Blastoise to counter it with a Focus Punch, slightly overpowering Onyx and dealing some damage. Drake then calls for a Stone Edge as Ash then asks Blastoise to counter with a Hydro Pump which overpowers the Stone Edge and is super effective on Onyx. Drake realizing the disadvantage he is in decides to call for a Double Edge which lands and asks Onyx to follow it up with Dragon Tail as Ash asks Blastoise to limit Onyx's movement with an Ice Beam which works. Ash then asks Blastoise to use constant flash cannons and push Onyx into the lake and succeeds in it. Drake realizing that Ash wants to further utilize the water weakness calls for Onyx to get out and use the Dragon Tail but this is when Ash shocks the whole stadium by asking Blastoise to freeze the lake with Ice Beam and finish off Onyx with the Hydro Pump winning Ash the battle. Drake is impressed with Ash and tells him now he feels like he's really battling a regional league winner and sends in Gengar. Misty and Tracy are worried as no Pokemon of Ash's is strong against a ghost type. Ash getting a little confident does not decide to switch and keeps Blastoise in as Drake calls for a Shadow Ball as Ash calls for a Flash Gun. What the moves clash and lead to a Dust Cloud. Ash calls for Blastoise to get into the water to utilize his element as Gengar launches a Nightshade which Blastoise escapes by diving deep into the water. But unknown to Ash, this is what the ghost Pokemon wanted as Drake then calls for a Thunder as Ash realizes his strategy has backfired as Blastoise receives heavy damage and barely makes it out of the water. Upon his feet, but clearly damaged heavily as this is when Ash watches Pikachu in for Blastoise. Drake smiles and calls for an Ice Punch as Ash asks Pikachu to counter it with an Iron Tail. Drake then calls for a Nightshade as Ash calls for a Thunder, both of which deal damage to each Pokemon. Drake then calls for a Shadow Ball as Ash calls for a Dig to dodge it and it works. Drake calls for a Shadow Ball in all directions as Ash asks Pikachu to come in from behind and launch an Iron Tail, sending Gengar to the ground. Ash then looks at Pikachu and asks him to latch onto Gengar and launch a Thunder at them. Drake does the same as both Pokemon end up knocking each other out with a big Thunderbolt striking them both at the same time from the sky leading to an explosion in the stadium. Ash and Drake then recall both their lost Pokemon and with three of Drake's Pokemon defeated the field changes. The announcer remarks that Ash is the first trainer to knock out three of Drake's Pokemon in a row. After the field changes into a desert field, Drake calls out his Venusaur as Ash sends in Charizard who showcases its new and powerful Air Slash followed up by an Inferno which leaves a burn on Venusaur and both the attacks deal 
super effective damage to Venusaur. As Venusaur tries to counter with the Leaf Storm, but the heat overpowers the attack, this is when Ash switches Charizard for Nidoqueen as he calls for a super power as Drake calls for a double edge as the two titans clash. Ash then calls for a Shadow Claw as Drake asks Venusaur to cast Nidoqueen in mid attack with Wind Whips and is successful, and then launch a Solar Beam as Ash utilizes the time taken to charge the Solar Beam to ask Nidoqueen to land a super effective Ice Beam. Meanwhile, Nidoqueen is still hit with the Solar Beam to the face as both Pokemon are left barely standing. Drake, realizing that this is his chance, calls for a double edge as Ash asks Nidoqueen to use Ice Beam on Venusaur's eyes, which just works in the last moment as Venusaur misses. As this is when Ash calls for a superpower, knocking Venusaur out. Drake recalls Venusaur and sends out Electabuzz as Ash asks Nidoqueen to launch a superpower again, but Electabuzz dodges it successfully and finishes off a tired Nidoqueen with a single ice punch. Ash then shocking the crowd sends in his own Venusaur and calls for a Petal Blizzard as Drake calls for a hike as the two moves clash and deal damage to both the Pokemon. Drake then calls for a Thunder as Ash asks Venusaur to take the attack and launch a Solar Beam after charging, dealing major damage to Electabuzz. This is when Electabuzz comes with an Ice Punch as Ash asks Venusaur to launch a Double Edge as both moves clash but the super effective Ice Punch deals more damage. Realizing this, Ash recalls Venusaur for Rhydon as Ash calls for a Hammer Arm and Drake calls for a Focus Punch, sending both Pokemon flying towards the trainers. Drake then calls for a Giga Impact as Ash calls for a Dragon Rush as the two Pokemon clash again dealing damage to each other. This is when Drake calls for an Ice Punch as Ash calls for a Stone Edge but Electabuzz comes breaking down every stone with its punches and then lands an Ice Punch on Rhydon. This is when both trainers ask Rhydon and Electabuzz to go for back-to-back -back Hammer Arms and Focus Punches respectively leading to a Dust Cloud as when the dust settles, both Pokemon fall down, shocking everyone in the stadium but Rhydon barely manages to get up winning Ash the matchup. But Ash's happiness is short-lived as Drake sends in Dragonite next but Ash still has a numerical advantage, right? This is when he decides to switch Rhydon for Charizard as the two beasts Dragonite and Charizard clash as Ash calls for an Inferno as Drake calls for a Fire Blast. But this time, the Fire Blast barely scratches Charizard as the Inferno lands and damages Dragonite more. This is when Drake is impressed with Ash and calls for a Hurricane as Ash calls for an Air Slash and Charizard's Air Slash counters the attack successfully. This is when Drake is surprised to see Ash switching Charizard for Rhydon again as Drake calls for a Dragon Rush and Ash asks Rhydon to do the same as the two Pokemon clash leading to an explosion while Rhydon faints due to the damage it had taken in previous battle. It is able to deal some damage to Dragonite though. This is when Ash sends in Venusaur as Drake calls for Dragonite to launch a Fire Blast. Ash asks Venusaur to bear through it and launch multiple Sludge Bombs which end up poisoning Dragonite but another Fire Blast finishes off Venusaur. With Venusaur lost, Ash then proceeds to send in Blastoise as Drake calls for a Thunder Punch. Ash asks Blastoise to take the hit and launch an Ice Beam which is super effective at the close range that it hit. Dragonite is asked for another Thunder Punch by Drake as Blastoise lands another Ice Beam. The two attacks clash as we see ice crystals in the surroundings. Blastoise though has been knocked out, but Dragonite after those three consecutive victories is weakened from the Dragon Rush, poisoned from the Sludge Bomb and one wing frozen from the ice as Ash sends in Charizard to finish this battle. Ash calls for a Seismic Toss as a weakened and slowed down Dragonite is unable to do anything and is sent to the ground crashing dealing major damage. Drake realizing the disadvantage he is at calls for a Giga Impact as Ash asks Charizard to stop the Giga Impact with its arms and then take Dragonite to the sky and land another seismic toss. Charizard due to Dragonite being weakened succeeds while still taking some damage from the Giga Impact and successfully lands the seismic toss throwing Dragonite so hard that there is a crater in the ground. This is when Drake decides to end the battle with one final attack. As Ash tells him it will end differently this time because it is not Charizard versus Dragonite but all of his Pokemon versus Dragonite. Drake calls for a massive Dragon Rush and Ash asks Charizard to do the same as the two massive beast Pokemons clash and the stadium goes silent due to the explosion from the clash as the two Pokemon left staring at each other but Dragonite falls down first and Charizard though heavily damaged comfortably stays up as Ash goes to hug Charizard and they realize they have won the match. The Pomelo Stadium erupts in cheers as the undefeated Drake is finally defeated. Ash makes his way to the podium with his Pokemon behind him as Drake gives him the coveted Orange League winner's trophy and congratulates him on the win. Along with Ash receiving the trophy, Ash and his team are given the honor of being inducted into the Orange League Hall of Fame with their footprints and Ash's handprint immortalized in the concrete there and a group photo taken to commemorate their victory. Ash is left very happy by this and Misty and Tracy come and hug Ash next. Ash thanks all of his Pokemon and his two friends and while he is doing that Drake comes up and tells Ash that he is amazed by how much he grew in just two days and defeated him. Ash tells Drake in return that it was an honor to battle him and promises that someday Charizard
Charizard and him will defeat Drake's Dragonite one on one. Drake says he will look forward to the day as he sees off our heroes who are all set on their way to Pallet Town. Ash is still fascinated by his trophy and while on their way back to the next island on the way to Pallet Town, Lapras suddenly senses something and makes a quick turn in excitement. The gang assumes Lapras's family must be nearby. Ash and Gang encounter a Lapras group only to be attacked by one of them as this leaves our heroes confused and our Lapras sad as the Lapras group then escapes as one of them did try to return the call of our Lapras but he failed for some reason. Our heroes then land at Toroko Island and at the Pokemon Center learn about the Lapras' fear due to the Pokemon pirates in the area from Officer Jenny. Then we see the Lapras group being attacked by Pokemon pirates who release multiple tentacruels which surround the Lapras. The Lapras group resists but the Pokemon pirates send in more tentacruels as this is when Ash takes Misty with him to help the Lapras while asking Tracy to call for Officer Jenny's help. This leads to a battle between Ash commanding Lapras and Misty commanding her Poliwag and Tentacruel with the Pokemon Pirates, whereas allowing the Lapras group to escape. Ash asks Misty to take over the pirate ship and destroy its cannons as he lures the Tentacruel group away from the Lapras group. Misty is successful, but this leaves Ash surrounded by too many Tentacruel as to everyone surprised Lapras with Ash's commands is able to come out of the situation a winner, but is left very tired only to be then attacked by a few Tentacruel which are hiding in the water. Ash though jumps in between one of Tentacruel's attacks to protect Lapras, shocking the group of Lapras's on the side. The Lapras group also had noticed Misty and Ash trying to help them and how well Ash's Lapras had done to defeat the Tentacruel, decide to help Ash and Lapras and the pirates are eventually defeated and caught by Officer Jenny. Then the Lapras group interacts with our Lapras and one of them is revealed to be its mother. Ash along with Misty and Tracy decides to say goodbye as this was the plan since the start but Lapras's mother tells Lapras to stay with Ash having noticed him sacrificing himself for her child. This shocks everyone as Lapras cries but then comes and hugs Ash. The Lapras then promises to his mother that he will get stronger and return someday as they all together say goodbye to the group of Lapras as Ash catches Lapras finally as they decide to get stronger together and leave for Pallet Town. Ash and Yang arrive at Pallet Town finally where he and Misty are surprised to see Brock waiting for them in Ash's house. Delia then arrives and explains that she and Mr. Mime found him a week ago and since then Brock has been helping around the house. Whilst discussing over dinner, Tracy insists on seeing Professor Oak as Ash shows his mother his winner's trophy and tells her about his journey. This is when Ash is reminded of the chase ball by Tracy. Later, Ash and his friends including Brock travel to Professor Oak's laboratory. Ash hands Oak the chase ball and he puts it away to examine it later. Oak then shows them around the laboratory, but our heroes are interrupted by Team Rocket to perform their motto while doing a circus act. But before Ash could deal with Team Rocket, they are quickly defeated by none other than Gary and his Nido Queen who sent Team Rocket blasting off. Gary then greets his grandfather. Everyone except for Ash admires his well-trained Nido Queen as Ash tries to brag about his Orange League winner's trophy. Gary congratulates him but notes that it did not help him defeat Team Rocket, hurting Ash a little. Soon enough, somehow the situation ends up with Gary and Ash preparing to battle to prove who has become a better trainer since their last match in the Indigo League over the past few months. And this is it guys. With this, we end the Orange League saga of our What If and we will be moving on to Jodo. Tell me what you thought about this season. Season 3 will be coming out soon. I am working on a few layout designs for the same. Give me your views and give me your expectations for season 3 for Jodo journeys in the comment section. What you would like to see maybe, what Pokemons you would like to see and please do check out my video about why I hate Ash the Pokemon trainer because it is a great video let me tell you. If you give it a watch with an open mind you will definitely like it. Till then peace Dragon Guide. Thank you for the support. Like share, subscribe. See ya.